Okay, so I'm um, just going to give you an event tip. This is um, a four bar. And what I normally do is for this whole backdrop, I'm going to put in all my up lights in this one power bar if it's not connected. And I'm putting my fairy lights plug in. So at the switch of one button, I can switch off my full insulation. time and it open out all the branches for every single one on the tree. For this one it's a little messy because glitter is coming off. We're just going even down to the back and open out all the branches. That's very key and important to make the tree look full. Alright? So we'll be back and tell you our next step. Okay, so we have just fluffed our tree and we, the tree looks much fuller. Before we continue, I'm going to add, now this is a pre-lit tree, I'm going to add some white lights, that's like the one that's in the background, in the center of the tree. I just want to show you this quick, this really cool um, extension cord. It's the extension cord, there's a switch and then on the extension cord there are about three different outlets on it. Now I don't normally have to use it for this size tree, I normally use it when I'm using my 12 foot tree where you plug it in where you have multiple lights to put inside so you run it to the center of the tree and then at each junction you can plug in three sets of lights three sets of lights and three sets of lights on top so in that way you don't run out of, you know, you don't want to plug all your lights if it's a large tree into each other, right? So that's just a quick event then. All right. So we have plucked over a tree and if you look inside you'll realize that there are white lights, trimming lights to the center of the tree, right down to the center of the tree, more to the center, and then these warm lights on the outside. We, today is day 29, 
Um, the next few days, we're going to try our best to make some homemade decorations for your tree before we actually decorate the tree. So, stay tuned tomorrow for the next day. Bye.